Cairn Terrier Cute Pets Review. The Cairn Terrier Dog is a tiny working terrier developed for the Isle of Skye in Scotland. Farmers used him to rid their home of vermin, and in addition they needed your dog with courage, tenacity, and intelligence characteristics still present in today's Cairn. He is often a sensible, independent, and friendly dog who excels to be a family companion. Dog Breed Group, Terrier Dogs Height, 9 inches to 10 inches tall for the shoulder. Weight, 13 to 14 pounds. Lifespan, 12 to 15 years. If you've seen the movie The Wizard of Oz, you've seen just about the most famous Cairn Terriers ever. The dog who played Toto in sight film became a female Cairn named Terry. Paid $125 weekly for her role as Toto, she was belonging to trainer Carl Spitz, and she or he had appeared in lots of movies before her famous role in Oz. She lived to get 11 years of age. The film character Toto is characteristically Cairn, a compact, sturdy, shaggy-coated terrier who is highly intelligent and confident. The breed is alert and constantly watchy for doing things. The Cairn can be curious and quick to master. And, like every terrier's, he's independent along with a bit stubborn. He must know who's in charge, or he can take charge. Early puppy obedience training and socialization are crucial. In spite of his independent nature, the Cairn is often a sensitive dog. His feelings can be hurt, and the man doesn't respond well to scolding or harsh corrections. Kind, positive training is the greatest method for teaching the Cairn. There is little this smart dog can't learn. With correct training, a Cairn can master an infinite number of tricks and commands. However, it could be downright impossible to halt a Cairn from doing what terriers find irresistible to do, chase, and dig and bark. The Cairn will chase squirrels, cats, rabbits, as well as other dogs if given the possibility. For this reason, he should simply be walked in public places over a leash, and that he should be given free run only in a very securely fenced yard. The Cairn actively loves kids and can patiently bear their boisterous ways. Of course, children really should not be left alone with dogs from a breed, such as Cairn, and responsible adults must always supervise interactions between kids and dogs. The Cairn Terrier is often a family dog, and that he needs to live inside the house, or apartment or condo, regarding his family. He thrives on attention from his household, and hubby's unhappy if left alone a lot of. He can lose interest at such times, which ends up in destructive or annoying behaviors like barking, digging, or chewing. A Cairn Terrier is usually a wonderful family companion. He's fun and entertaining, likes to play with kids, and sounds the alarm when visitors approach. He is capable of compete in obedience, agility, or earth dig trials. A Cairn is usually a great pet if you want an impartial, alert companion using a take charge attitude toward life. Highlights The Cairn can be a terrier, this means his natural instincts will be to bark, dig, and chase. These behaviors is usually minimized with training, nevertheless they can't be eliminated. If you don't experience the typical terrier temperament, you should think of another breed. The Cairn is intelligent and curious. He also incorporates a mind of their own. He will challenge your authority good-naturedly, needless to say but you need to be able to establish and keep your role as pack leader, or he'll find the upper hand. The Cairn loves the interests of his family. Do not leave him alone for too long periods of time or he could become destructive. The Cairn Terrier often thinks he's greater than he turns out to be. Don't be surprised if he supports for himself against large dogs or animals. To have a healthy dog, never purchase a puppy from an irresponsible breeder, 
puppy mill, or store. Look for just a reputable breeder who tests her breeding dogs to be certain they're free from genetic diseases they might pass to the puppies, and how they have sound temperaments. History The Cairn Terrier originated more than 220 years ago around the Isle of Skye, where Captain Martin McLeod is credited with developing one of several oldest strains with a breed. All terrier breeds in Scotland were originally classified as Scotch Terriers. In 1873, a fresh system was implemented and Scotch Terriers were separated into two classes, Dandy Dinmont Terriers and Sky Terriers. The Sky Terrier classification included cairns and also dogs which are now generally known as Scottish Terriers, West Highland White Terriers. These breeds were distinguished only by color, as the three could come on the same litter. A club for hard-haired Scotch Terriers was formed to the three breeds in 1881, a regular was approved in 1882. Toward the end with the 19th century, Scottish Terrier breeders began to select a variety of characteristics, color included and this. The West Highland White Terrier became a separate breed in 1908. In 1912, the Cairn Terrier was designated like a breed, taking its name through the piles of stones that marked ancient Scottish burial or memorial sites. These stone piles were often hideouts for your vermin sought from the Terriers. The first Cairn Terriers were imported on the United States by Mrs. Henry F. Price and Mrs. Byron Rogers in 1913. In both the U.S. plus in England, the Cairn as well as the West Highland White were interbred until 1917, once the American Kennel Club barred registration to the dog from such interbreeding. That same year, the Cairn Terrier Club of America was granted AKC membership. Size Males stand 10 inches tall and weigh 14 pounds. Females stand 9.5 inches tall and weigh 13 pounds. Personality The Cairn Terrier is really a wonderfully friendly dog. He's happy and cheerful, and the husband seems to truly enjoy meeting people. He's also all terrier, independent, tough, and alert. Like any dog with a breed, he places digging, barking, and chasing at the top of his number of fun activities. He'll chase any small animal, like the neighbor's cat, if given a possibility. He's a fantastic watchdog, too, and definitely will announce any visitor. Though independent, the Cairn is focused on his family and it is happiest when he's section of his owner's daily lives. He would rather be inside house, using the kids, following you place to place, joining you for the front door after you greet someone. He's known for being sensitive. He doesn't like to become scolded which is upset once you're not satisfied with him. Temperament is troubled by a volume of factors, including heredity, training, and socialization. Puppies with nice temperaments are curious and playful happy to approach people and also be held by them. Choose the middle of the road puppy, not normally the one who's beating up his litter mates or one who's hiding inside corner. Always meet at least on the list of parents the mother is usually the one who's open to ensure they have nice temperaments that you will be comfortable with. Meeting siblings or any other relatives in the parents can be helpful for evaluating such a puppy are going to be like when he matures. Like every dog, the care needs early socialization experience many different people, sights, sounds, and experiences when they are young. Socialization helps be sure that your care and puppy grows up being a well-rounded dog. Enrolling him within a puppy kindergarten class is usually a great start. Inviting visitors over regularly, and taking him to busy parks, stores which allow dogs, and so on leisurely strolls to meet up with neighbors may also help him polish his social skills. Health Cairns are often healthy, but like several breeds, they're at risk of certain health problems. 
Not all Cairns is certain to get any or all of the diseases, but it is important for being aware of them for anyone who is considering this breed. If you're purchasing a puppy, find a fantastic breeder who will show you health clearances for both your dog's parents. Health clearances prove that a pet dog has been tested for and cleared of your particular condition. In Cairns, you should expect to find out health clearances from your orthopedic foundation for animals, OFA, for hip dysplasia, which has a score of fair or better, elbow dysplasia, hypothyroidism, and von Willebrand's disease, from Auburn University for Thrombopathia, and on the Canine Eye Registry Foundation, SURF, certifying that eyes are common. You can confirm health clearances by checking the OFA webpage, OFA.org. Craniomandibular Osteopathy This affects the skull bones of any growing puppy, causing them to become irregularly enlarged. Symptoms usually appear between 4 and 8 months old. The cause is unknown but believed to get hereditary. Often the puppy's jaw and glands become swollen, and that he won't be in a position to open his mouth. Heel drool, have a very fluctuating fever that recurs every couple of weeks, and, occasionally, his chewing muscles may atrophy. Anti-inflammatories and anesthetic help the dog manage what can be a painful condition. The irregular bone growth slows and typically stops because of the time the puppy gets to be a year old. The lesions can regress, just a few dogs have permanent jaw problems and for that reason have trouble eating. Occasional cases are severe enough to necessitate jaw surgery. Cryptorchidism Cryptorchidism would be the failure of one or both in the testicles to descend in the scrotum. Testicles should descend fully from the time the puppy is 8 weeks old. If a testicle is retained, it's usually non-functional which enables it to become cancerous or else removed. Treatment is surgical neutering. Globoid cell leukodystrophy, also called Graves disease, this is usually a degenerative disease from the white matter in the brain and spine. Affected puppies die in a very early age or are euthanized. There is now an experiment available that could identify carriers in this disease. Breeding dogs must be tested. Hypothyroidism, this is usually a disorder on the thyroid gland. It's thought being responsible for conditions including epilepsy, alopecia, thinning hair, obesity, lethargy, hyperpigmentation, pioderma, as well as other skin conditions. It is addressed with medication and diet. Leg calf Perth's disease, this affliction requires the hip joint. If your cairn has leg perths, the blood supply towards the head from the femur, the massive rear leg bone, is decreased, plus the head in the femur that connects towards the pelvis sets out to disintegrate. The first symptoms, limping and atrophy with the leg muscle, usually occur when puppies are 4-6 months old. Surgery can correct the problem, usually resulting in the pain-free puppy. Patellar luxation, also referred to as slip stifles, this is often a common problem in small dogs. The patella will be the kneecap. Luxation means dislocation connected with an anatomical part, like a bone for a joint. Patellar luxation is once the knee joint, often of your hind leg, slides in and out of place, causing pain. This is usually crippling, although a lot of dogs lead relatively normal lives using this type of condition. Ocular melanosis, secondary glaucoma, formerly called pigmentary glaucoma, this is often a fairly recent development within the United States, since 1984. It is often a painful inherited condition that comes about primarily in cairns between 7 and 12 year to seconds. Old The condition generally affects both eyes. Watch both eyes for small spots or patches of very dark pigmentation from the sclera, white part in the eye. 
the pigment deposits accumulate and decrease ability of fluid to drain out on the anterior chamber. This leads to increased pressure, which is called secondary glaucoma. If diagnosed early, the condition could be controlled with medication. Portosystemic liver shunt, this is really a congenital abnormality during which blood vessels allow blood to bypass the liver. As a result, the blood is just not cleansed from the liver as it ought to be. Surgery is the best option. Care Caring for any care interior isn't difficult. Because of his small size, he's a superb dog for apartments, but he's also hardy enough to take pleasure from ranch life. He must adequate exercise and activity, however. A long daily walk or vigorous play for 20 to half hour will help keep him healthy and alert. Despite the truth that he's an instant study, bear in mind that Karen also features a stubborn streak. Regular dog obedience training, starting with puppy classes, is crucial to teach him politeness and respect for the authority. Don't be surprised if he challenges you just keep training. Be positive, kind, and consistent. A quiet command needs to be one of your Karen's basics. Don't let him off leash in public places, he's prone to give in to your temptation to chase. And don't provide him with unsupervised free time inside the yard. He'll dig, and the man doesn't care whether he excavates a secluded area through the fence or maybe your lovely new flower garden. Feeding Recommended daily amount, one half to just one cup of high quality dry food every day, separated into two meals. Note, how much your adult dog eats is determined by his size age, build, metabolism, and activity level. Dogs are individuals, much like people, plus they don't all want the same amount of food. It almost goes without saying that your highly active dog will need over a passive dog. The quality of commercial dog food you buy also makes a difference the greater the canine, the further it'll go toward nourishing your dog along with the less of it you should shake into your canine's bowl. Keep your cairn in great shape by measuring his food and feeding him twice each day rather than leaving food out at all times. If you're unsure whether he's overweight, together with the eye test along with the hands-on test. First, look down at him. You need to be able to determine a waist. Then place your hands on his back, thumbs across the spine, using the fingers watch downward. You must be able to feel yet not see his ribs while not having to press hard. If you'll be able to, he needs less food and even more exercise. For more about feeding your care, see our guidelines for purchasing the right food, feeding your pet dog, and feeding your adult dog. Coat color and grooming. The scruffy looking care terrier incorporates a double coat, a wiry outer coat and soft undercoat. The coat also comes in many colors, including a red, brindle, black, sand, and gray. This coat is simple to groom. A thorough brushing once per week is sufficient, out of the box periodic bathing, every 90 days or so, or when necessary. Frequent bathing isn't recommended given it softens the coarse terrier coat. While a soft coat isn't harmful to the dog, and it is fine for any pet, it will detract from your show Karen's appearance. Some trimming is necessary for your Karen mostly to tidy his look, not radically style his locks. If he's for being a show dog, his coat isn't trimmed with clippers, as would be the poodle's coat, as an example, but shortened or shaped by stripping having a stripping knife. Stripping is not actually necessary for any family pet, however, a specialist trim with clippers two to three times per year is fine, though bear in mind that this practice softens the breed's naturally coarse coat. Brush your cairn's teeth at the least two or three times weekly to remove tartar buildup plus the bacteria that lurk there. 
Daily brushing is a lot better if you want to counteract gum disease and smelly breath. Trim his nails a couple of times a month if your pet dog doesn't put them on down naturally to counteract painful tears and also other problems. If you'll be able to hear them clicking within the floor, they're a long time. Dog toenails have arteries and in them, of course, if you cut too much you can cause bleeding and your pet may not cooperate next time he sees the nail clippers end up. So, for anyone who is not experienced trimming dog nails, ask a vet or groomer for pointers. His ears needs to be checked weekly for redness or even a bad odor, which could indicate infection. When you check your canine's ears, wipe them out that has a cotton ball dampen with gentle, pH balanced ear cleaner to help you prevent infections. Don't insert anything in the ear canal, just clean the outer ear. Begin accustoming your care into being brushed and examined when he's a puppy. Handle his paws frequently dogs are touchy relating to feet and appearance inside his mouth. Make grooming having a positive experience stuffed with praise and rewards, and you will lay the groundwork for straightforward veterinary exams along with other handling when he's adult. As you groom, pay attention to sores, rashes, or signs and symptoms of infection for instance redness, tenderness, or inflammation around the skin, inside the nose, mouth, and eyes, and about the feet. Eyes must be clear without any redness or discharge. Your careful weekly exam may help you spot potential medical problems early. Children and Other Pets The Cairn Terrier loves kids and is particularly highly tolerant once. In fact, he enjoys the noise and commotion that goes in conjunction with children. As for other pets, an adequately socialized and trained Karen has a tendency to get in addition to and respect those inside household. He's likely to chase every other animal that comes into his yard, however. As with every breed, you would be wise to teach children dealing with untouched dogs, and try to supervise any interactions between dogs and young children to stop any biting or ear or tail pulling about the part of either party. Teach your youngster never to approach any dog while he's eating or sleeping in order to try to take your new puppy's food away. No dog, regardless how friendly, should ever be left unsupervised which has a child. Rescue Groups Karens in many cases are purchased without clear knowledge of what enters into owning one. There are many Karens wanting adoption and even fostering. There are a volume of rescues that people have not listed. If you don't experience a rescue listed on your area, contact the National Breed Club or maybe a local breed club and in addition they can point you toward a care and rescue. Breed Organizations Below are breed clubs, organizations, and associations where you may find more details about the cairns.